Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here, and today I have a unboxing and review of a, the new Walmart Magic the Gathering Mystery Power Box. Now, I went all over town. I went to 14 different Walmarts. I couldn't come up with a single one of these. Um, so I had to go to the open market um, on Macari and um, ended up paying $59.99 for this box. But uh, this is what I do for you guys. I open these up to see um, if it's worth it. Um, to let you know if if you want to buy these, you know, it's up to you. So here, um, first off, I'm going to do a review of the packaging. Um, it's different than a lot of the other ones that I've seen uh, opened online. Um, the There's kind of an odd pixelation to the uh, printing on the package here. Um, so, eh, kind of loose there. Looks like they may have even reused a box here. So, packaging so far, uh, not great. Uh, here's the odds. Uh, you could totally get some good cards. Well, I mean, that's what we're here for is some good cards. So um, all in all, packaging, I'd give it like a D minus. Uh, let's get into it and just see, are we going to get lucky? Are we going to get a revised pack worth about $300 now? Um, very exciting. And uh, a couple of foil promos. So let's see if we can get into that. Let, all right, we got a pack of Zendikar Rising right there. Uh pull out the the promos and we'll pull out the packs and see how we did so it looks um, from everything I had seen online everybody gets packs of uh, time spiral and dominaria let's see what I got I got a Zendikar rising a corset 2020 not too spectacular uh, modern horizons one pack of shadow more pack of Zendikar and a pack of weather light so no time spiral remastered uh, no Dominaria, um, kind of disappointed, but uh, this is what we got, and this is the gamble when you go to uh, uh, you know a fixed product like this where they're choosing what gets to go into the box, so that's the way it is. So let's take a look at our foil promos here, flip them over and see what it is. Oh, well that's weird. Um, okay, well, might have to take that up with quality control. But here we go. Let's let's open what we have here and just see how we do. And of course, we'll scan up any of the good cards that we might find in these packs. Starting with this pack of Zendikar Rising. Let's do it. All right. How you guys doing today? Thanks for sticking around and putting up with my nonsense as it is. We got uh, another <laughs> another blank promo right there. And we've got a uh, Full Art Forest. And a branch loft pathway. Very nice, rare out of uh, Zendikar Rising. Flips to Boulder Loft Pathway. Can never go wrong with a multiple usage land like this. It is 745 currently. Our first little hit. What else do we get out here? Merfolk Wind Robber, Relic Amulet, a Showcase Brush Fire Elemental. I'm not sure at this point what is uh, a good in the uncommon slot here. In the car, got a negate, a skitter sneak, and some other commons. Showcase, felidar, and a bug catcher, and a dreadworm. So there we go. All right, pathway's nice. I'm happy about that. Core set 2020. I actually really like this set a lot. Uh, I think there's room for growth. There are cards that are actually uh, spiking out of this set right now. So let's see if we can get lucky. Got a crab. And a spitter. Octo Prophet. The Mammoth Spider. Bow. Colossus Hammer. Very cool. The fun card. Yarox Wave Crasher. Manifold Key. And Loxodon Life Chanter. Elephant Cleric. Alright, let's scan that up and see if it is going to rate. It doesn't rate very much. We got a soldier token. Alright. Modern Horizons 1. What are we going to get out of this? We're going to get a burb. And we got a, a very nice art for Yogmoth. Snow Curve Forest, the Thran Physician. And for the rare, a Fiery Islet. Very nice. Is it Islet or Islet? Tell me what you guys think. Snow Curve Forest is a buck. Um, very nice. Uh, probably the best of the Horizon lands out of this set. Um, 
I had assumed that these would kind of crater and then start headed back up. Are they headed back up at this point? It is a card that won't scan. 1399. So at one point this was like over 20 bucks. Not so much anymore, but that's okay. I think it's still a useful card and it's got some room to grow. Gener Generous Gift might be an okay uncommon here. Yeah, I was right about that. Wall of Blossoms. Uh, and wing shards for the uncommons commons wall of blossoms i'm gonna guess is under 90 cents yeah it's been reprinted a few times we got shenanigans that's what i'm all about on this channel if you couldn't tell amorphous axe a sinkhole ambusher i like this shape-shifting uh, outcast and a spell snuff there we go all right Pack of Weatherlight, you're not getting one of those in one of those Walmart packs, I'll tell you that. So, obviously you can't tell, I'm just joshing you on the whole Walmart thing. I didn't even bother to look, why would you? <laughs> you know what you're going to get. But, thanks to uh, the uh, industrious um, endeavors of other YouTubers, I've been able to see what I easily could have figured out was going to be in there. And uh, we thank them for that. Anyway, moving on. Going to do the three uncommons and a rare to the back. We'll do a pack of Weatherlight. Got a Benelish Knight. Mana Chains. Abyssal Gatekeeper. Ophidian. Dusk Rider Falcon. Uktabi Ifrit. Fit of Rage. Rogue Elephant. Merfolk Traders, Cinder Wall, Razor Tooth Rats, Sarah's Blessing, The Uncommons, Arctic Wolves, Phyrexian Furnace, and a Heart of Bogardin. I believe this is a reserve list card. Two and two red and enchantment with Cumulative Cape 2. If Heart of Bogardin's Cumulative Upcape cost is not paid, Heart of Bogardin deals damage equal to its last paid Cumulative Upkeep target player and each creature he or she controls there's some possibility there it's not a scare tactics come on scanner there we go heart of a garden 220 maybe not a reserve list card like i thought it would probably be a little bit more maybe it is i don't know check me out down below uh, or comment down below if you know better than i do for x furnace is 67 cents there we go all right pack is in car Let's do it. Stonework Puma. The Hideous End. Gladeheart. Slinger. A Scythe Tiger. Yeah, I always thought that was a pretty decent card. Slaughter Cry. Or S Laughter. Blazing Torch. Arrow Volley Trap. Land Bide Ritual. And Hellkite Charger. Not a big one. It's got a. It's a dragon. It does some stuff. Let's scan it up. Three seventeen for the commander reprint. So it's a little better than I thought actually. Three fifty. All right. Maybe we'll read it. Flying haste. Whenever Hellkite Charger attacks, you may pay a bunch. If you do, untap all attacking creatures. And after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Well, that's why it's worth a little bit. Everyone loves some goofy combat tricks, right? And we got a full art mountain and a foil celestial mantle. Hey, that's actually not too shabby. High casting cost, but it's a pretty cool card. Uh, it, man, it looks good in the foil. All right, let's scan that one up, if it will. Celestial mantle reprinted in Jumpstart. The original Zendikar, a couple bucks. Switch it to foil. Hey, it's 16 bucks. So that's pretty solid right there. All right, I'm happy to have that. I'll put it in the good pile. All right, last up, Pack of Shadowmore. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. Make sure to hit the like button. Burn Trail. Cool art. Wild Slayer Elves. Cool art. Wit Wretch. A Silkmine Fairy. All of this has cool art. I love this set. Wanderbrian Root Cutters. Scar. Zealous Guardian, a Lock Corrigan, Ember Gale, Nivius Wisps, Loam Dragger Giant. They're probably going to go back to Shadow more eventually, aren't they? I know you guys know. Colrath Knight. I think that's an okay uncommon. 
Yeah, it's a buck. Dawn Glow Infusion. Uh, I'm going to scan that one too because I'm not sure. Nope. Corrosive Mentor and the rare is Wilt Leaf Liege. That's pretty decent. Let's scan this one here. A couple bucks for the Mentor. Wilt Leaf Liege has hybrid mana green and white and one. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other whites control, uh, get plus one, plus one. If a spell or ability an opponent control causes you to discard Wilt Leaf Liege, put it into play instead of putting it into your graveyard. I'll bet this is worth a little bit. It's a little bit. A couple bucks there. And a warrior. I'm going to scan the token. Hey, I was right about the token. All right. Anyway, that's that. Pretty good for some Walmart packs. Am I right? Anyway, thanks for watching Tragic MTG. See you later.